Hello and welcome to the very first round. We won the die roll, so we'll play first. Um, let's say hi. I'm uh, not gonna mulligan this. It's not a great hand though, but uh, it does have three really strong cards. Uh, it's the very first game. have no clue what my opponent is playing. Uh, it's a bit of a greedy keep. It's a loose keep. Probably not a good keep, but I think it's a, it's a strong, strong enough hand. Like, Jace protects itself, Kiora protects itself, and then there's Kega. So yeah, uh, probably would lead out with Kiora, stop something from the guy, play Jace, uh, minus it, stop something from the guy, play Kega and then win. So that's my, my game plan at this point. My opponent is here, right? Can I see when he submitted? It's Jetro. Jetro, Jetro. So the guy submitted as the very first player, so he definitely built this deck pretty fast. Um, so it might be that, you know, did something, submitted, and then went to get something to drink and eat. Uh, I'll pour myself a drink here as well. Uh, it's cola, don't worry, not drinking alcohol while recording. Uh, while that might be entertaining, I actually don't drink a lot of alcohol anyway. Um, like, maybe two times in a year, three times in a year. Um, for those wondering, I'm from Belgium, so it's pretty uncommon, I guess for someone from this country to not like beer. Um, I don't like the taste of it and I don't feel that I don't have the need um, to be drunk either. Um, I do get the appeal for it for some people, for most people, um, but I don't need it. Like I can entertain myself or amuse myself uh, in any kind of situation anyway, so being drunk doesn't matter. My opponent did do something and said hello, good luck. So that probably means he's due a right? Um, which would make this a pretty long game, and at this point pretty boring. Like, he's already two minutes down despite being here. So, uh, seeing that I'm semi-aggro, semi-control, it's not an aggro deck, I would probably win this just in time. So yeah, he is an aggro deck though. Okay. So there is a Kitchen Finks, which is probably the best draw I could get there uh, against a deck like his. Like it gains me life, it comes back, so it kills multiple creatures from him. Then there's Kiora the turn after that, then there's Jay's the turn after that, and then there's Kega. Uh, so unless he has a really strong uh, play here, I'm thinking this is a good good moment for me. Um, so yeah, he attacks here, fine. Kill the Marauders is a pretty good card. Uh, but it will die to the Kitchen thing, so there's that. Uh, I guess we're green, please. Boom, baby. Life gain. It also dies eventually. Like, you can take three and then just say, I eh, don't care about this card. Uh, there's a Magma Jet. Sure. Um, I'll get it back. Your Marauders will die the turn after that. So, I think you can only attack with the Marauders at this point. Uh, if he attacks with the Sator, that's fine by me. He doesn't. Uh, so I don't block. I obviously play Kiora here and use it on the Sator. Like, sure, the Marauders will... Um, the Marauders will die and do damage. It can do damage to the Kiora. I don't care. That's fine by me. If he then has 2 damage and then uses it on the Kiora as well, that's also fine. Uh, he did do it on the Kiora, so he has an answer to it. Or should have an answer to it. Uh, because else I don't see what his game plan is here. Frenzied Goblin. Target creatures can block this turn. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. The thing is though that... Um, if I do this, then uh, add blue blue, play this, and then 
plus it, play noble. So this will become a 1-1. One, one. Uh, this can say something it's that it can block, but this won't do any damage. So I'm gonna attack with the kitchen things here. Boom. Uh, finally getting in some damage. But I mean these are 0-1, one, 1-1 one, one, and this doesn't do anything. So this combination is pretty sick. Uh, protecting each other. For each player, so the player library for non land card and exile it, and the player service. You may. You may cast those cards without paying those mana. Uh, Museum Mort is on Noble. Okay, whatever. Like, you still don't do anything, right? You do a single damage with the Satyr. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, he's at least gonna level up his Cargon, right? No, he's not. I was gonna kill Kiora. Oh man, you asshole. Oh well, um, there's always money in the banana stand. Not just kidding. Uh, there's always Kega, which obviously is also a really good card. Um, it's this makes sure that something can block though, so I am gonna keep the kitchen things behind. Nah, I'm gonna attack with it, like, fuck it. Um, if he attacks with this and make sure I can block, that's fine, because this isn't gonna do a lot of damage anyway. Um, and if he pumps it eventually to 4-4 flying, I'll just control magic it. And then take control of it, you know. Um, he's gonna attack with it on Jace and then say, hey, you can block it. Um, but this preventing 3 damage, you know, is a pretty nice card. So, he is already floating the mana for that. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, I can't actually block. It's gonna take 2, it's gonna go down to 3, big fucking whoop. Yep. And yep. Um... He's gonna take a bunch more damage though. Um, I'm gonna gain me some cards here. Uh, let's see what it gives me. So it gives me Acidic Slime versus Two Lands. I'm obviously gonna pick the Acidic Slime here. And gonna kill something of you, him. Let's kill a land. And then attack with the Kega. Like me still being at 18, him being on two lands, yep, he sees writing on the wall. Um, so he's an aggro deck, so I probably want in experiment one, I probably want in Tarmogoyf. I probably want out the shapeshifter and the oracle. Um, so now I'm down to 40 cards. Wait, was I always at 40 cards? How is this? Oh, I'm only playing 16 lands. <laughs> I see. Um, yeah, I guess. Now that can be right. Uh, pretty good hand, turn 1 Noble, turn 2 uh, Strangle Roots and Finthorn. Um, might actually lead with the Finthorn over Noble. Can be blocked by humans. Um, so the Elf Druid obviously isn't a human. So I'm gonna draw that one, just so I can block a Stormcroak Noble. Because Stormcroak Noble is a really good card. Uh, if he has removal for it, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Stranger Root is gonna play defense here, uh, because else the Noble will just go out of control. I uh, can't let that happen. Um, and he can't actually get past this because of the Undying. So he has to have double removal to kill it, which I assume he won't have. And then the turn after I can double this. Uh, drop a Venge find the turn after that, in case he doesn't remove everything. So 
So he does play a mountain. Sozo the Punisher. Nice card. Um, I don't actually have a lot of lands, but okay. So there's that one, and there's that one, and then I'll pass a turn. Um, I don't think I'm gonna drop more lands here. Uh, I am gonna drop uh, one more land if I need to drop the Kega. Uh, but at this point I have 5 mana compared to his 3 mana. Um, I, the only land I'm ever gonna drop is an island at this point, unless I get rid of the Zozo. Uh, but I have no need for that, so... What is this? Tarmaller. Um, not a bad card either. But I mean, it just isn't gonna be good enough, is it? Uh, boom, boom, boom. It's gonna bring me down to 11, right? Yeah, but it's gonna be good enough. Blue... Yep. I mean, it can grow as much as it wants. I have control magic. So next turn, Venge, fine. Then the turn after control magic, I guess. Like, the way my deck plays against the mono red deck is usually beneficial for me. Friction Metamorph on the Kega, I guess. Um, but that's gonna be nice, because then I'm gonna have double Kega. So, is he gonna attack with the Tarma or no, right? I mean, as soon as I control Magic Kaya, I think he's gonna concede again. Um, Lightning Bolt. That's a pretty good one. Because now I can't actually mind control that. Uh, oh, control Magic that. So, I'm gonna play the Cobra. Yep, it can grow. Uh, and I think I'll pass here. Like he could have attacked and it would be in 6-6. Six, six. Then he blocked and just takes it. Um, what do I do if he attacks here with his Kaya? Do I block? The best way to play Kaya now is to let it die to something that is not his Kaya. Uh First strike whenever player gets a spell from Graver. Okay. He's gonna attack with everything now. So we are gonna play land. Um, we are gonna take damage from it, of course. But this allows us to make a second blue. Um, almost had my own land there. Gain control of his Kaya. I think I'll attack. Uh, choose a Kega that I start to keep. This one. I'll get control of this. And then I'll attack with this one. So now um, I have a 5-5 five five Tarmo that keeps growing. He has one card, two cards now. Uh, I have four blockers. I think this is fine. Like Chandra does one damage. Uh, creature and player, right? Yeah. So he can start pinging things. So obviously I want to use this ability. Uh, but I can kill it instantly. Like he's just going to kill an Elf, Elf of Deep Shadow, right? Or the Lotus Cobra. Uh, kill Lotus Cobra. Wait, what? What? Oh, it can block now. Interesting. So, um, you block, 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 I guess. And this is game. Man, it was game already. Like, this was 13, 14, this is 18 damage. So, yeah. We go 1 0 up, and I'll see you guys for the next round.